What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we are back with another Champions Path opening. Today we have two double boxes plus a set of the pins. Uh, this was all I could manage to find on release day after like six hours of hitting as many targets on Walmarts and Barnes and Nobles as I could. Uh, this is going to be a break for our patron T. In case you guys didn't know, we offer breaks for our VIP patrons. Uh, here's a list of the prices. I think they're pretty good. Uh, check out the link below if you're interested and let's get into the opening. We're gonna fast forward through, the through getting these out of the box. Be right back. All right, we just got everything open. Let's just take a quick look at the promos. Very underwhelming, but we do have a set Scorch. They're just reprints of cards that uh, Actually, I'm not sure if they're reprints, but this one definitely is the doubles. And okay, so not much there. It does come with a jumbo card, which, you know, all right. I like having one of each of the jumbo cards. But most, oh, actually, no. The, these pins, I actually do really like. Definitely uh, will want a set of my own. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with them. But um, right now, I kind of just stick them to like a piece of paper and hang it on, as, via a magnet on the fridge, actually. But most importantly, we got 17 of these Champion Path packs. All right, here we go. Hopefully we can find something good for our patron T. Patron T, thank you so much for sponsoring this opening. And let's begin. All right, just had to turn on a little ACL a little bit and uh, turn on the ceiling fan. But here we go into our first pack. See what we can do. Um, so uh, my, good, my initial reaction to the set is it's good i'm really excited to open it but i'm not sure how well it'll age uh, especially compared to like you know it's clearly not hidden bait so this has some cool cards like research but that thing kind of the card has already been printed a bunch of times via the toolkits uh it's in the theme deck and stuff like that so you know definitely not as many things to pull for compared to hidden fates but um and right now we're kind of like all wrapped up in the initial hype so we'll see how this kind of goes. I'm curious what things will be like in, let's say, like three months from now. Uh, this is so hard to procure, though. So maybe it, the hype will last a while. Let's see. Hatterny. Ha hazard Sensor. This Pokemon is in active spot. is damaged. Uh, your defend or detect Pokemon is confused. All right. Pack number three already. We have 17 total. And that is my lucky number. Still waiting for our first hit. I'm sure you notice we kind of have a, a different setup and I'm sitting down. Oh boy. All right, not sure how I just all dropped all that, but it was a set to Scorch and a BD. I need to figure out my Pile management in this setup. All right, Let's see Turfield, Victini, Pokeball, a Weedle, interesting art, Kakuna, Hop. I do like the Hop arts, especially the full art. Obviously, not that good of a card, but uh, and we did pull the full art for. Our first opening, if you check it out, be sure to do so. All right, still waiting for our first card, our first ultra rare or better. Over here. All right, I do like that Machoke. Trubbish, a potion. Galarian Lanoon, Nickets, Macha, a Rotom Bike, and then a another research. All right, so I am uh, probably give it like a week or so before doing like our first Pokemon of this set. Um, I think it'll be very interesting to see where like, you know, the Zards are starting to look. Um, and then as I'm sure a lot of people are trying to send them in to be graded and be the first one to the market as far as having, you know, PSA 10 or BGS 10 grades. And we'll see kind of like where those prices land. We got our first reverse energy. Definitely a fan of these energies. I think they are better than the Hidden Fates ones. Ooh, all right, we do have something. I am not sure what the Charizard looks like. Uh, based on the size, I'm guessing this is a Gardevoir. And there we go, Gardevoir V Max, our first one of these. Um, I don't 
think this card looks too good. It's weak to metal, which is not a good thing. It does heal 180 and heal, and 180 is going to be enough for to two shot most things, and it can kind of have some more sustain. But I feel like that just that thing where you can get one shotted by a Zacian is going to hold it back. But either way, actually, let's take a look at the centering. Ooh, I do feel like the centering is pretty good. Um, don't see any edge wear, so we're going to put this in a penny sleeve in case T wants to have this graded. Grab a regular sleeve for this energy. And I'm pretty happy with that hit. I think uh, after the Charizards, the one I want to hit would be the, um, the Rainbow Gardevoir. So happy with that. Alright, but we still have a good amount of packs. Hopefully we can get one at least one more hit all right zigzagoon appears into a hatterney again i do feel like this set's pretty small like what is it um all right only 73 so you know compared to the craziness that was hidden fates and i think as a result you know when you're trying to uh pull you know the the few chase cards that are in the set you know you just pile up so many of these uh, the rares and stuff or the hollows all right Milo into a Zygarde but anyway guys thanks for watching the vid and as always if you want to support the channel just hit that like button it helps I believe it just helps the uh, video get noticed more and um, yeah, if you want to sign up for one of these breaks, check out the Patreon page. It is only for VIP patrons. Uh, but basically, you know, if you just buy, I don't know, one ETB, it kind of turns that into regular price. Um, Obstagoon with a pretty cool ability. And a handful of the other products, you know, more than covers it. I'll pay for the shipping and send you uh, whatever you want, whether it's just the ultra rares or better if you want some of the bulk and stuff. Uh, just might ship a little bit slower. If you play the, the online game, happy to send you the codes. Or the, actually, I'll just send you the packs online. Make it a little simpler. But, uh, yeah. If you do want to sign up for a break, check out that Patreon page. And let's keep going. Looking for our second hit. Trubbish Sharpedo. Into a Wailord V. Alright. I kind of like this card. I don't think it, I think it's too slow. But, um... You know, it has the potential to, could, uh, on the second attack, one-shot some things. Um, maybe if you use a Frost Moth engine, you don't need to use the draw up. And it sounds like a relatively simple strategy. Put you in the background there. Oh, I feel like the lighting is not great. I need to continue to tweak it. I'm trying to figure out where I'm most comfortable as far as doing these openings. All right. Pokeball, Sizzlepeed, Machop. Uh, as far as like how much stuff we'll have to open um, early in the week, actually tomorrow, I will be getting my largest pre-order from as far as what I put in. So should be able to do plenty of breaks going forward. Uh, we did get our pre-orders from Game Nerds in. Actually, just some of them, the ETBs. All right, Roly Coley, hop again into another Gardevoir. This time we got the regular V. T, hope you're a fan of Gardevoir. And this one also looks pretty good. So if you do want to get that... Oh, I do like that art. Um, not sure what that energy ball is. Actually, if the hand was like slightly different, it would look like a, it's like doing a Dragon Ball Z, like Kamehameha or something. I will put another penny sleeve for you. If we did take a look at the Wailord. I'm assuming that one's not too... Uh, not too much of a grading target, but um, I'll send you a picture later if you're interested. But yeah, I can help you out with submitting stuff to PSA for anyone that does breaks. And I do have to take a closer look at the ETB promos. I've heard um, some stories about them having some quality issues, so I'll take a look at those. Rotom phone. Ooh, all right, you know, 17 packs getting a good amount of hit. Here's our fourth one. Uh, Cursola, as long as it's your active spots, your opponents attaches an energy guard from the hand to one of their Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't need to be active though. Uh, thir three damage that Pokemon, that's kind of annoying. Hollow Missile, three damage. 
Hmm, pretty cool card, really cool ability. Um, makes sense, it has to be in the active, and it's just kind of weak though. Be destroyed readily by any kind of Eternatus list that only needs two energy to attack anyways. But we got our fourth hit, let's get one more. Looking for a textured card. Alright, let's see. Arbuck, Scraggy, Purloin, Really Coley. Ooh, another reverse. I find that uh, the reverses, the, they come in batches of the same ones. So we got another Grass Energy into a Lycanroc. Quick sleep for you. But yeah, I really like these energies. As far as like energy swag, um, maybe it's the gold ones from Sun and Moon and then some of like the earliest, I think like the Legends during uh, like Heart Gold, Soul Sova, I think those are pretty good. And I like these ones too. Alright, Scent to Scorch, got plenty of, oh my gosh. <laughs> and since there's not too many like rares and stuff, I imagine this happens quite often. Happened to us yesterday with a Zygarde, I think. One thing I've been thinking about as far as this set, um, so obviously, you know, Pokemon succeeded as far as making a set that everyone wants to buy. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But um, I wonder if they could have added more chase stuff. Uh, maybe some more of those kind of like non V secret rares. That they have in the various sets i'm sure i'm assuming there's still a lot of like cool uh used cards that could um you know but would attract people would actively chase them all right last pack for this opening tea thank you so much for sponsoring and um yeah if you are interested in one of these just check out the patreon page here we go can we get one more hit rotom oh Wow, we got another Gardevoir. This happened, it seems like we keep getting, at least in the V slot, or the Vs, last time we pulled two Venusaurs, and this time we got two Gardevoirs. And as far as like Vs to get multiples of, I feel like these are good candidates, Gardevoir and like the base, uh, the base uh, stage two starter. Uh, this one I feel like is not perfectly centered, so I'm just putting in one of these. I do think the other two Gardevoirs are good candidates to be graded, so. All right, so I do, I really like these pins. Um, you know, I'm not sure what, what to do with them, but I feel like they're well made and it's a great idea. Much better than just random, I don't know, random Pokemon pins. So we got two energies to boots. All right, thanks T for the opening. Hope you're happy with the results. All that guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.